Okay, so from here, once you have all of your research sorted out and organized like we've just done, you could go ahead and take the extra step where you're filtering by user intent. And honestly, since we don't have too many keywords here, I, I don't find it that helpful, but I will show you how you can go about doing that if you would like. So basically, we talked about the few different types of user intent that there were. And that is market defining keywords. Customer defining keywords, product keywords, brand keywords, then you have industry thought leaders competitor keywords <clears throat> geo targeted keywords and related industry Keywords. So you can color code these if you'd like um, to make it easier to, to read or whatever. Honestly, it, it is what it is. I'm not going to go to all that trouble. So here's where you can have your key. Um, and then you would just go through here and give them some ideas, right? So like back here, we, we did see some, some geo-targeted keywords. We saw, well, here's one, email marketing manager salary NYC, although it's not very helpful to us. So another one, a better one would be something like email marketing New York. That would be a geo-targeted keyword idea. So if you actually did have a marketing company in New York and you focused on email, that would be a profitable keyword to go after. There's no geo-targeted keywords here that we've selected, so we won't worry about that. Most of these are going to be market-defining keywords or product keywords. So we have one product keyword idea. The rest are market defining. Now Because customer defining keywords are is when the customer is defining themselves in the search query. So like, why do I need email marketing or how can I get started with email marketing? So all these are, are, are just like that. Why is email marketing so important? That would also be a, a marketing define a market. Sorry, I said marketing defining, but it should be market defining. Sorry about that, guys. Got marketing on the mind. There we go. 
market defining. I think almost all of these are going to be market defining keywords as well. Now, another one that I would like to add just to make this a little bit more helpful for people is also I would put in there service keyword. I think that's important to note because some of these are service keywords like consultant. And training could almost be considered a service. So we could we could put that in there too or we could put that as a product keyword. Training There's a service keyword. Ah, also another service keyword right here, writer, autoresponder, writer. So there we go. It's pretty easy, right guys? Like this isn't this isn't rocket science. This doesn't have to take hours and hours. It'll probably take you a few hours to do everything from start to finish, but the actual sorting process does not have to take that long, especially after you've sort sorted by competition. You know, it makes the rest of your job a lot easier. Um, there's a service keyword, virtual assistant, copywriter, We do have a few product keywords in here as well. Training. Amazon autoresponder could almost be considered a product keyword. We'll, we'll put it in there. Autoresponder price comparison. Yeah, we'll put that as a keyword because they're obviously looking up softwares. Training, comparison, boot camp. And the rest would be market defining. So that was pretty quick and easy, right guys? And now your clients are gonna be super duper impressed with all this that you did for them. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to take the time, if you're gonna do this for yourself or whatever, you could go through all the rest of these keyword ideas and you could sort by user intent. But I'm not going to do that here today for you because I think I've given you a pretty good idea of how you can go about doing that. Use your best judgment. And that is how you search and sort by user intent.